All right, this is our uh, 2019 Halloween prop that we've been working on for the last little last several weeks here and there. And this was kind of uh, this is more of a proof of concept right now. I got a lot of adjustments to make, but we finally got it working to the point that we felt like we got the mechanism figured out. So this uses uh, two skeletons. The one on the right is a Walmart special. The one on the left is a Costco special. <clears throat> the Walmart one has actually a little bit, been a little bit easier to work with and I like the, the joints on it better. Uh, it's powered by one windshield wiper motor, a Toyota motor from the salvage yard. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, originally I had I tried to just have the skeleton's feet attached to the plank, but uh, it just it wasn't stable enough, so I had to go with the rod. That's just a piece of half inch, a four foot piece of half inch all thread, <coughs> excuse me, coming up through the bottom, and then it goes through their spine, and uh, and then comes up. Actually, comes all the way up into the back. So it's just the, the feet are sitting down there, the feet are screwed to the plank, and then you've got just the, the top of it. You can just slide right over, and that's where you get most of your movement. Uh, the swords are from, uh, they're online. You can find them on Amazon as well. They're just 30-inch uh, wood swords. I'll paint them, uh, I'll paint the blade part silver later on. And uh, I'll clean up that PVC pipe that's running everything. Um, based on the amount of movement I wanted left to right, forward and back, um, and doing some math and drawings, it, the the axis or the I guess the axis of the the pipe needed to be about eight inches off the off the plank, and so that's what the that uh, one gallon can is. There's a spacer on the bottom and then one in the middle to help guide the, uh, the rotation. Uh, the bolt down there, I tried a few different things to, to hold that to kind of get the swivel point, but I just couldn't get it to work quite right. So the, uh, the wood here seems to be really good. And then it, it wants to rotate, it wants to spin just because the action, so that bolt through the pipe uh, that's being held kind of captive by the eye bolt keeps it from rotating, keeps it from spinning around and uh, gives it that, that action. So down here is the, the one Toyota motor, or excuse me, yeah, Toyota wiper motor. And then there's just a hole in the board and a piece down there, I can show you that in a minute. And then up top, so it's three quarter inch PVC. It's just a, a T with a, uh, a three quarter inch block, just a square block of wood that goes through it and just pressed into it. And then a hole drilled through that to hold both of the, the swords in place. And then they're just hooked on with a, a fender washer and a bolt. So lots of stuff to do still. Uh, and then on each sword, we had to hook a uh, we're going to wire through the handle, the heavy, heavy wire, and then right now it's just taped to the forearms. Um, I need that, can't have that wrist move, it seems to be better if it is hooked directly to the, the forearm. And then to get the arms in the right position, I uh, used a heat gun and just slowly heated uh, the upper arm and the lower arm and, and twisted them, slowly twisted them until I could get that palm facing inward so I could put it on the handle for a better look. Um, the, the skulls or the skeletons have been aged a little bit just with a tandy leather dye so that's why they don't quite look as bright as they normally do. Uh, and then here I'll show you the inside. Well first of all when we're all done and everything's painted up and looking clean then that whole board will be mounted to uh, this little mechanism over here, which is also another wiper motor, and that will go up and down and it'll balance the plank off the front of our porch. 
So it'll kind of teeter-totter up and down. We'll have a counterweight on that. So I'll make another video when it's all up and running. And I think that's about the speed we'll run it out. Maybe a little bit faster. I've still got to get a power supply and everything hooked up. Mayo can run it at the faster speed for a second. A little more action. But probably not as good. And then right down here. is the wiper motor. This comes out through the bottom, cut uh, a circle out of the bottom of the can so I can run screws down into it. And just a simple, simple device. But uh, I'm able to get quite a decent amount of movement out of it. to the Caribbean themed display for this year. Hopefully we'll have it done in time for Halloween.